Hey everybody, my name is Caleb Wampler and I'm Mrs. Peach Thrifty Hacks grandson and I live here in Florida. I started a nonprofit ministry uh, over six years ago and I have a wife, four kids that are eight and under and travel the world. I've been in 30 plus countries and so in my time I've started a, a, an LLC as well. So I have a nonprofit, a business and uh, minister, do all kinds of stuff. With that, all that said, um, my grandma asked me to talk about goal setting here at the start of the year, just because that's something we have to do in all of the spectrums that we are. So I want to give you guys a couple of just quick tips on goal setting. And no matter what your age is, no matter what your background is, no matter what your perspective is, uh, it does not matter where you live in the world when you're watching this. These things will help you be very specific. As a minister, obviously the Word of God is my roadmap. And so uh, there's a verse here in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. It says, write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. This vision for a future time, it describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place and it will not be delayed. Habakkuk here, it says, write the vision plainly on the tablets. When it comes to goals and goal setting, you want to be specific with your goal and make it measurable. So for me, if I say, I want to lose weight, that's actually a terrible goal. <laughs> and if that's your goal, let me help you today. That's a bad goal. Why? Because we all want to lose weight, but what are we going to do about it? And when do we want to do it by? If I, for instance, at the time of this video, if I say I want to lose eight pounds by March 1st, you know, that's my goal. That's approximately eight weeks away. And if a better way to say that I want to lose weight is I want to lose eight pounds by March 1st. So it's specific eight pounds, and it's measurable by March 1st. If you will do that, you will now be able to realize, okay, what do I need to do in a week? In a, in a spectrum of a week, scientists will sell you there, there's about 3,500 calories in a pound. And so you say, okay, if there's seven days in a week and one pound is 3,500 calories, I need to lose, uh, create a calorie deficit of 500 calories per day. And that helps me to get to my goal. So if I eat the cheesecake today and I shouldn't have, maybe tomorrow I need to lose 800 or 900 extra calories, but it helps you be specific. If you want to have a better relationship with your spouse, well, I really wish my relationship with my spouse was better. Uh, that's, that's a terrible goal. It sounds great, but it's not specific and it's not measurable. So I would like to have a better relationship with my spouse by having more talking time with them. So to do that, I'd like to have one date per week for the next 12 weeks. You know, it's specific, it's measurable. At the end of those 12 weeks, you can say, hey, do I have a better relationship with my spouse now? Well, by going out on 12 extra dates, you probably are gonna have a lot better perspective on that. Um, things like reading the Bible. Um, you know, there's 1,189 chapters in the Bible. So you might say, well, I want to read the Bible in a year. Well, do the math. That's about three and a half chapters per day. If, you re if that's really your vision and your goal, then write that down. Average three and a half chapters a day. So what am I going to do today? Um, you know, I, I, I remember one time as a funny story. I, I had promised God that I would read the Bible in a year uh, for one of the first times I ever did it. And I wasn't even close to reaching my goal. And it was December uh, 18th. Uh, and I remember going to bed that night saying, Lord, I'm going to finish the Bible this year. And I woke up the next day. There was only 12 days left in the year. And I counted how many chapters were in the Bible. And I realized if I averaged 100 chapters a day for 12 days, I could finish the Bible in a year. And so you know what I did? Over those 12 days, I read the whole Bible in a year because I was specific and it was measurable. I, I, I created something that seemed crazy and I made it bite-sized to something I could do. I would encourage you to be specific 
and measurable in the things you want to see improved in your life? Do you have a failing relationship with your, uh, maybe it's with your daughter or your granddaughter. Maybe it's with your spouse. Maybe it's with a kid. If you will just take a look at that relationship and say, how can I have a better relationship with my spouse, daughter, kid, grandkid by this date? What can you do today to be specific and measurable? You may say, hey, look, I want to create one touch point every week with that person to build relationship and to try to restore and reconcile that relationship. That's a great goal by next, by the next January 1st. What are you going to do? Make a half a brainstorming session. What are things you can do? I could write them a note. I could draw them a picture. I could send them a gift. I could and, and create that list. Now, how are you going to do that once a week? What day are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? And how are you going to reach out? If you will do these things and make the vision plain on the tablets, as it says here in the back of two, then friend, you're going to watch your entire life change instantly. Now multiply this across every area from spiritual, relational, physical, mental. What is it you're trying to do? Let's make it specific and measurable. Hope this hack helps you out to go further in your year and to make it the best year ever.